Okay, here's a quick look at what the CNC scroll saw project has been up to. If you listen closely, that's the sound of the rotary axis moving in the plastic bushing. After a lot of use, it sounds pretty terrible now. And so I've switched that out to use some ball bearings. The blade shaft now runs on two ball bearings with a spacer in between. And this gives a much smoother rotational movement. I also switched from front illumination back to back illumination. First with this little contraption that meant to bounce the light in. And that actually looks fairly good. Here it is capturing an actual cut. You can see that the blade bounces around quite a bit and the sawdust gets eliminated pretty well by just averaging the pixels in a vertical manner and then we can find the blade that way. But since it bounces around so much, if you plot the positions it captures, it is kind of all over the place. The right half there is the blade at standstill and then the left half is while it's cutting. And part of that issue is exacerbated by the fact that the camera also captures the base of the blade where it's much wider than where the teeth are. And so this throws that last part of the measurement off. So then I switch to a flip cob LED strip, which has a whole bunch of tiny LEDs and a continuous phosphor layer, which gives a very even backlight. And I have that mounted as a strip behind there. And I also mounted a photo interrupt sensor on the, towards the back of the saw with a little hole cut out so that the backlight will only illuminate uh, as the saw passes the middle of its stroke. And this strobes the light so that we get a capture that looks more like this. And so this is what the strobe looks like in the dark. If you look at the bottom saw blade mount there, you can see that it appears to be stationary. And then when we turn on the lights, you can see it's actually running. And if you look super closely, you can see the connecting rod bouncing left and right because we're capturing a frame on the bottom stroke and the upstroke. And so now putting this camera to use, I can do a straight cut of 10 millimeters on the x-axis and capture the blade position over time where the blade starts at the blue points and then the orange points are towards the end of the cut. And here you can see a very large drift into the positive y direction. And all that's telling me is that I need to adjust the rotational axis so that it looks more like this second capture where the blade is lagging, which we know it will always do, but it's only in the negative x direction. And so after this rotary calibration step, I can then capture the same data at increasing feed rates to get a quantitative measurement of feed rate versus lag. and figure out exactly how much lag I have for given blade, material, feed rate combinations. And what I discovered in doing these tests is that it's not just the blade that lags or flexes while I'm cutting, it's also the saw. Because in this direction, the C-frame and roller wheels aren't rigid against motion in that direction. and so the entire thing is flexing. So to address that, I added another linear rail, this time a real one, on the backing board that should keep it from moving in and out in the X direction. And this is pretty rigid and it's only mounted with one screw so that it's not over constrained too much. I mean, it's still over constrained, but what are you gonna do? And here you can see the bottom rail also mounted like that. And it's overhanging 
like it definitely shouldn't be, but it works. And then this clip is supposed to show that the deflection is now below 1 thou when applying force to the blade in the X direction, but it doesn't look like anything's happening, so that's it. And the last cherry on top is adding a, another support piece so that the entire wooden backer board doesn't want to move in and out because it's also not rigid in that direction because it has a big old open C cut out of it. So I have this temporary beam installed which seems to hold it very sturdy. 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 Sturdy.